Hey there folks, today I am proud to bring you my 2 to the 7th battle, that is my 128th battle for those of you not familiar with Powers of 2. Uh, my opponent is Zabuza of the Water, and this is a little cup battle! Woo! Anyway, um, looking at his team, it is entirely Gen 1, which is actually really cool. Um, he leads off with Onyx, I go ahead and lead off with Edgar Rice, my Sand True. He goes for the Taunt, kind of, you know, I wasn't, I'm just gonna go for Earthquake first turn. Um, I guess I'm glad he didn't try to set up rocks. I go for the earthquake, and I'm like, "Wow, that did uh, that did not do as much of damage as I was expecting." Uh, he takes that hit quite well. Out now, he's going to send Quathon, um, his Paris. Paris, a devastating Pokemon when used correctly. Gonna need to switch out because I do not want Edgar Rice put to sleep. I'm gonna need it for spinning, um, for setting up stealth rocks and a bunch of other stuff. He goes for the spore. I predict that Lilu, my um. What should I call it? My Leap is probably the best Pokemon for Sleep Fighter. I go ahead and switch out here into Emily, knowing that he can't use Spore again. Instead, he has Stun Spore. I'm like, oh, thank God that missed. That would have been so bad for me. Uh, yeah. So here I'm going to go for the Acrobatics, even though he predicts that and switches an Onyx, and it's going to take that hit quite well. I My speed is now through the roof. I do not have to worry about his Onyx outspeeding me, and Onyx would probably outspeed me if it's running max speed or, you know, really any speed investment at all. Onyx is pretty darn speedy. Uh, but so yeah, I've taken out his Onyx. That's great. I go for the Shadow Ball against his Abra, but I know it's got a Sash, but, you know, really there's nothing I can do until that Sash is broken. Um, yeah, I get the special defense drop, like that's going to help at 1 HP. Uh, Emily is now going to get taken out, and that's... Um, here, I make a mistake. I should have gone out into my Ponyard and gone for the Sucker Punch. Instead, I was like, yeah, Starbuck can outspeed. I guess I was expecting him to switch out, and he does carry the Protect, um, but, well, then I could have done some, I could have done some good stuff. Uh, I guess I was expecting him to carry the Hidden Power, um, fighting, as I guess Abras often do. Uh, anyway, here I was expecting him to see that I was locked into Earthquake and go out into Paris. Instead, he stays in, goes for the Psychic, and my poor Blake, my only hope of taking out this, uh, his Paris is now dead. Well, I guess Starbuck. No, Starbuck really can't. Well, Starbuck has Ice Beam, I guess. Um, but this is just not good for me. I go for the Earthquake, and I don't know why I'm locking myself into Earthquake. I really should be locking myself into Zen Headbutt, considering the Pokemon left on his team. He goes out into Paris here. Uh, you know, Zen Headbutt would at least be regularly effective. I'm not gonna want to stay in and get Stun Sport, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out and go out into Lilu. Not sure if this guy's running any kind of offensive moves, um, but all I've seen are the two spores, the Stun Spore and the regular Spore, so, eh. Uh, now out is going to come Machop. I think I can probably take a fighting type move, but I really don't want to stay in and find out. And I see that now he's I see that he's guts boosted. Yeah, first aim, yeah, well you're trying to fake me out with no guard. It doesn't really work faking me out because it's the first turn, uh, you have the toxic or back activation. Anyway, unfortunately he went for the ice punch. Edgar Rice, who could have taken most fighting type moves, is now going to die to two ice punches. I thought that maybe it was max damage I can and I can take another one, which is why I stayed out and I was gonna go for the stealth rocks, but Really not working out for me. Anyway, go out into Starbuck here. I go for the Zen HUD that I'm like, okay, die Machop. It doesn't KO. And I mean, I know that, you know, he, I know that I'm not running much attack investment, but still I was expecting that to do at least a little bit of damage. You know, I was expecting it to KO. It's not like he's Eviolite. Anyway, um, I've lost my Starbuck, and this is basically good game. He's down to very low HP, and considering the fact that he's gotten a defense drop thanks to close combat, I go for the Sucker Punch, take him out, and excellent, uh, my poor little IBM is uh, actually doing, uh, is now going to get KO'd by a um, flame charge. I do get off a lot of damage with that sucker punch, um, but really, I've got two Pokemon left. Really, I had no other option than to fodder off, or than to let IBM die. I'm down to my last Pokemon, and um, yeah, this is good game. And so, yeah, he's down, he's got very low HP, I am sleeping, he goes for the Morning Sun, I'm like, no, come on, seriously, you had to go for the Morning Sun, um, I'm still asleep, and uh, he goes for another Morning Sun, gets up to full HP, and he's, he's doing that quite well, I go for, I get Wake Up, I go for the Ancient Power, I hit him with the Ancient Power, it's super effective, down to pretty low HP, Goes for the Flare Blitz. I could have gone for a recovery type move, a recovery move, and actually that would have been a good idea considering he had uh, Life Orb. He would have taken himself out eventually, but I'm down now down to seven HP. Out is going to come Houdini. I don't think I can take any kind of hit from him. It's indeed Hidden Power, probably fighting considering it's super effective. 
and that is good game. So great job sweeping me, um, Zabuza of the Water. Hope you folks enjoyed this battle. So long, folks.